Hey, it's Joe and Rachel from Two Crazy Campers. We are here at the 2023 Florida RV Super Show. And right now, we are sitting inside of the RV that started it all for us. Yeah. We're gonna take a look at the Jayco 195 RB. So more than two years ago, we visited a camping world and we saw the Jayco 195 RB and we fell in love with it. We were looking for something kind of small, but it had to have a rear bathroom. And at the time, Rachel was like, absolutely no slides. For a lot of different reasons, we ended up canceling that deal and ended up getting our nice grand design 2600 rb but we slides. wanted to show you this one so this one has a list price of 32.479 and it has a show price of 19.95 19.995 and i will say that this is probably one of the most affordable trailers that we've seen here at the show so far for the size of it and it's a jayco and i like the quality of a jayco so we're going to start right here in the bedroom first of all we have our bed lots of storage underneath uh, this is a very lightweight flimsy mattress. I will tell you this, first thing I would do, dump this mattress and get a new mattress from rvmattress.com. We have a discount code, I will leave that down below. Makes a huge difference. Because you're not gonna be comfortable on this mattress. No. Got some storage over here on each side. And I'm gonna tell you this, I love how much room you have. The storage is lifted up and you're not gonna feel in cramped like you're in a coffin laying no. together. Now, instead of a door, they have a curtain, but I don't hate this because a lot of times- It's a couple's camper. It's a couple's camper and let me tell you, doors take up room. It feels normal to have doors because you're trying to like live a residential life out on the open road, but you don't need them. This is perfect. A little bit of storage up here over the sink. Very well made um, cabinetry. It does not feel flimsy at all. There's lots of under sink storage space. You do have a little teeny tiny sink, but that is fine. And you do have plenty of room for your air fryer over here or your George Foreman grill if you travel like I do. Now look at this little double burner they have. Cute as it can be. And I've got to say, I really have never used all four burners at once anyway because you, there's not enough space for pots and pans. So we might as well have just a two burner. It works great. There's our heater down there. We got our uh, converter up there, small microwave up here. But again, this is a couple's camper. You're not gonna have a lot of the large amenities or anything like that. We're gonna come down here, take a look at this dinette set. So nice. Maybe this is where my love affair with the dinette set began, Joe. Possibly. Now this table does uh, drop down and fold up so that we can turn this into a bed. So if Peyton joins us, there is a little place for her to sleep. Perfect toddler size. Taking a look at the refrigerator over here. We do have a 12 volt fridge, which again, I love the 12 volt fridge. I know uh, our friend Chris actually doesn't like the 12 volt fridge, but for me, I like the 12 volt. It's just nice and convenient. Let's move into the bathroom. So once again, this is why I'm not a fan of doors because they take up a lot of space and I would be fine to have some sort of a pocket door here. I feel like that would work better. But once you get into the bathroom, you got some prime pooping positions going on here because of the fact that they're using a shower curtain for the shower. It really, really helps because when you're just using the facilities, you don't have to be banging your arm. Now, I really like the fact that there's a tub here. So if I, we do bring Peyton, we can actually give her a bath instead of her being like a stinking kid, right? Every kid, you know, take a bath. So I like the fact that you've got some good headspace in here. Let us know in the comments down below if you still have a home base like we do. We're weekend warriors. We have a home base. And we find that our camper shower is hotter and comes the water comes out at a stronger velocity than even at home. So I almost want to wait and take a shower on the road. What about you? Is your water at home better than your water in your camper? You've got little uh, things here for soap dishes and a nice shower, but at five, seven and a half, 
the half is because I earned that extra half is uh, plenty of room here. We do have a little bit of storage up here over our dinette area. And you do have a nice little pantry closet here and also kind of an extra space to put your shoes on. Okay, so up above me is a cute little awning that's lighted and you have some nice speakers because as Chris reminded me, it's really nice to be able to have music while you dump that black tank. Over here, you've got some plug-ins. Let's take a look at this pass-through storage space. For a small RV, this has a nice amount of storage. Now, it's not pass-through. Oh. You only have access to the one area. However, that is all under bed access. So anything you put in here, you can get to from underneath your bed. Uh, one thing I'm gonna tell you, I wish that those were more of like slam latch doors. I wanna change mine out somehow to a slam latch. So we got our place for the batteries, single propane. You would definitely need two propanes. We do have a manual trailer jack. However, you can change that out very easily. You can get about 150 bucks. That was pretty much one of the very first things that Joe did because he was like, yeah, this cranking thing is for the birds. We got our low point drain and we've got our water fill. We do have an escape window right here cable TV satellite input. We've never used that. There's our heater, hot water heater. Here's our 30 amp city water connection. And then there's our gray water holding tank and black water. Little place to put our uh, sewer hoses. Now there's no ladder back here. Uh, so yeah, this is probably a unit you can't go in, but I do remember when we were first looking at it, we were adding the ladder we that sure you were. were able to add it. So I do believe you can climb on top of them, but the ladder is extra. Okay, the RV that started us on our quest. Now I do have to say, here's what happened. We were ordering our RV from Camping World. We ended up going, hey, I don't know about buying something from Camping World. We ended up going to a different place and that's when all of a sudden, all of the orders started getting backlogged and we ended up finding our grand design, which I love our grand design. Of course, we went from buying a 19 foot to a 26 foot, and we went from buying a small little thing like this to this really big couples camper. But I love our RV, but this is what started it, yeah. and we have to really go, you know, like two and a half years later, what are your thoughts on it now? Pros and cons. Pros and cons. I'm gonna tell you, especially after revisiting this, this would be something that I would go entry level in right now. I absolutely love this camper. The fact that you don't have to worry about slides because that was a concern for me as a, a new RVer. I was thinking more bells and whistles, more problems. So I was a little bit worried about it. Now I know that this is just a, a single tire and ours is a, you know, a double. That was part of the reason why we chose the one that we did and, and walked away from this unit. But I love this camper and I'm gonna say one of the my favorite Thing. my pro on this number one is the position of the bed a lot of times when you get into these little campers they turn the bed sideways and if you are a couple and the person on the far side needs to go to the bathroom at night and we do we're old okay so we have to go to the bathroom at night I'm not making it through the night without going to the bathroom so I have to climb over Joe and wake him up in order to do that so I love that the position of this bed is like Eleanor and it's easy to get in and out of yeah. what are you what's a big pro for you storage for a 19 foot trailer, this has got a lot of storage. Yes, it's not a pass-through. I really like pass-through, but the fact that you can access all of that storage from under the bed, that's actually a pro and a con. It's great that you can access it so you can shove things in, but you're also gonna have to be careful about things because now if you put something wet, you're dealing with it from underneath your bed. Right. But just the storage here, the big storage closet, storage in the kitchen, all the storage. Is there negatives? Yeah, I have a negative. Okay. It's a single axle single axle. Me personally, um, other than maybe a pop-up camper, I'm never buying a single axle. We were actually talking about this last night. Somebody asked me, why not a single axle? Because if and when you have a blowout and you have a single axle, your RV is going like this. It's yeah. ruined. If you have a tandem axle or a double axle, you have a way to get yourself out of that pickle. Perfect example, we were driving up here. We had a valve stem blow out. It developed a hole as we were driving. My TPMS system, because you should not be driving an RV without a TPMS system, started telling me, oh my gosh, you're losing pressure quick. I went from 80 PSI to 20 PSI. We pulled over. We did find somebody that could put a new valve stem on, but because I still had a tire on that side, I was able to limp along to get to the tire repair shop. Yeah. If you don't have 
two axles, you can't do that. So I'm gonna say that's my negative as well because that was what really talked me into Eleanor was the fact that we would have the two tires because we didn't wanna you know, worry about a blowout. And you know, these things happen. You do your best. I'm, I'm glad that we have like the alert system that we do, but things happen and I wanna know that we have a backup safety plan in a second tire. Well, it was really nice taking a look at this unit that we saw two and a half years ago. Now, if you like seeing videos like this, please do us a favor, hit that subscribe button down below. Also, make sure you hit that like button because that does two things. Number one, it helps us build our channel, but also it lets us know what kind of videos you guys are looking to see. And don't forget to hit that little bell button and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time, happy, happy camping. camping.